what's up guys so it's here watching the beautiful maverick and well thought you know what yeah it's only been two weeks since i put out my last video but got this truck now well for a month 2500 miles so let's kind of dig into a review Alright, so what do I think about this thing? Well, I'm going to grab the keys first. It's been amazing. It is such a great vehicle. And I just gave it its first bath. This is the first, like, really nice weekend day that we've had, well, all year. Ugh. There we go. There we go. So... Get that AC kicking. So, what are my thoughts? Well, this thing, again, has been amazing. Uh, 2,500 miles. I've had it for a month. I'm still getting, sorry about the wind noise, but it is hot. Right now I'm reading about 75 degrees. You know, when you're used to 39, it's kind of warm. But, everything has been Better than expected, I would say. Uh, the the fit and finish, again, it is plastic, but man, this truck feels solid. Nothing about it feels $20,000, $25,000. Everything feels really premium, even though you know it's, well, it's plastic. It's, it's plastic, but it is, just amazing. All right, we're going for a quick little, little scoot. So I got a part of my truck back in the driveway as well. Oh, oh, there we go. So, just trying to get everything lined up here. Uh, still learning stuff about the truck. Uh, did you know you can zoom in on the rear view camera? I had no idea. That's, to me, kind of cool. Uh, something I wish, that, in a way, I wish the Cadillac had that. I mean, there's features in this that my Cadillac didn't have. Of course, there's a few years difference. But, this truck has held up to all expectations, has done an amazing job. Uh, I'm still getting around the 27 to 30, actually I hit a record the other day, 31.3 miles per gallon on the way to work. And I always do better on the way to work than I do coming home uh, where I live, kind of coming down off the mountain through the hills, and then by the time I get to work, it's a lot flatter. So, getting to work, I'm always sitting around 30, 30 and a half miles per gallon. So, the other day when I hit 31.3, I was like super excited. And then coming home, because you're going up into the hills, it drops down to about 27 and a half, 28 and a half miles per gallon, which I'm, I'm not mad about. That is really good i do drive this truck uh primarily in eco mode now one thing i wish is it, it would hold eco mode it it always goes right into uh it always goes into normal i guess when you first start it and then you have to uh you have to put it in eco every time you start it uh, it's one. Just, it's not really a complaint. It's not something I see as an issue. It's something you get used to. It's not an annoyance. It's not nothing really like that. Uh, again, I think it's my phone. If you saw my video on Android Auto versus Apple CarPlay, having to unmount and remount the phone every time I start the truck. So when I stop for gas, I gotta unmount and remount the phone. Kind of annoying but it's, I'm willing to deal with that because I get maps, I get streaming music. I don't even have to worry about playlists. Uh, that's one of the things I love about Google. As I listen to music, it just keeps adding new stuff, different stuff to what I've been listening to and I've been hearing music I've never heard before. And it is kind of like listening to a radio station in a way because it's not just the stuff you know, but the, the stuff you never knew existed. So. Uh, again, the truck is really holding up. 2,500 miles. 
you know, plenty of oil life still on it. Definitely got some few tanks of gas through it. And again, this is a two liter EcoBoost engine, front wheel drive. It's not the all wheel drive or the FX4 package. It's just the XLT with the three options, the added ports for the back seat, spray and bed liner and the Ford Copilot 360 which I, I, I enjoy, I really like. I uh, had a couple guys, I guess, make fun of me in the comments, but I like it. It's something I like. Hey, I didn't buy the truck for them, I bought it for me. So, everything's been working great in it. God, the AC feels so good right now. <laughs> Again, it's like the first great day we've had on a weekend, so being able to sit here, wash my truck. It's got water spots, I need to get a, sham, a chamois towel and uh, some of that Black Magic. Uh, tire shine for it just to really set it off and really make it look really really good it's gonna have water spots but it looks a lot better than the dirt and grime it had on it so i'm not too mad about that but yeah this truck has been amazing go get yourself one if you can uh if you're thinking if you're on the fence get one i know the hybrids are taking forever uh, originally what I wanted was the hybrid, but I settled for a EcoBoost when I talked to the dealership. And because most of the models I drive are on the highway. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I can deal with a lower mile per gallon in the city because your highway mileage is still pretty much going to be the same. Uh, so that's what I did. I, I stuck with the EcoBoost engines, got a little more power, uh, like 200, what is it? 250 horsepower, 277 foot pound of torque. So it is, the seats are holding up great. In fact, something I did want to mention in my Cadillac, I guess because of the seating, how you sit in a Cadillac, in an ATS or CTS probably, and mine was an ATS, uh, I had heated seats. I ran them all the time. I'm six foot three, I am a very large fella, but I have had back issues. And I ran heated seats nonstop in that vehicle. Never got heated seats for this. I, I was curious, is that gonna be something I, I'm gonna hate? I think because the way you sit in this vehicle, it's more of a seating posi sitting position than in the Cadillac, you're kinda, your legs are straight out in front of you. Yes, you, you had good lumbar support, but one great uh, I had to run the heated seats all the time. My back always hurt on any drive more than like 10, 15 minutes. I have no issues in this truck with, well, with that, that period. So yeah, so that's my two, one month, 2,500 mile review. I love this truck. I'm enjoying this truck. I'm gonna continue to, to enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hopefully put out a lot more videos like this and this is kind of my daily vlog uh, channel or a vlog channel. I wouldn't say daily. I don't think I'm doing daily anymore. But yeah, subscribe to the channel. We're going to have a lot of fun, especially in this truck. And uh, yeah, it's going to be going to be a good time. All right, guys. See you soon. Peace.